this is Laura from DSP Support. In this video, I will be going over how to add a student or parent and manually assign a parent to a student account. In some situations, the student may have been added before the parent. This can happen when you need to add a student quickly into the system or when a teacher adds a student to a class using the iPad Class Manager. To manually link the parent, please click into the student that has been created, and from the menu on the left, choose Family Members. Here we have two options. If the parent has also been manually entered, we can search for the parent here and choose Find Parents. If this is the parent that should be linked to the student, click the name. If the parent has not yet been added to your system, please choose the option for Add New Parent. Here, the parent's information can be entered along with their phone number and email address. Once you've done that, you also have the option to automatically send the parent their parent portal login credentials. When you click Save, you will see that the parent is now assigned to the student. We can click to the parent's account and view that the student is indeed linked to the parent. A season is a grouping of classes that all happen over the same period of time. Some examples of seasons would maybe be named 2021 dance season, summer 2021, or 2021 workshops. To add a new season, please go to the More menu dropdown and choose Seasons. Next, choose Add New Season. This window will allow you to add the basic details of your season. Start by entering the name of your season here. Next, we will add the season start and end dates. The season start and end dates should reflect the first and last day of your classes for the season. After those dates have been entered, add the online registration start and end dates. These dates should reflect the first and last day you would like parents to be able to register online for classes within the parent portal. If you would like to charge a registration fee or collect tuition during online registration, you can mark these options here. Then click Add Season. To access all of the details about this season, click on the season name. Here, we can make any changes to the information already entered and edit additional settings. The age cutoff date is necessary as the system will use this to calculate a student's age. The date requires students to be a certain age in order to enroll in a class for that specific age. So if we set the age cutoff date to be for the start date of our season, this means that a student would need to meet the minimum age for a class by the date entered in order to register for that class. If they are not the minimum age by the date entered, they will not be able to see that class or register for that class in their parent portal. Within the season settings, there are additional options on the left side menu. These options will allow you to enter items like no class dates for the season, for things like holidays, add a registration email that is specific to this season, and add different special tuition rates that would be specific to this season. There are a few other settings that can be specific to this season, such as auto pay, hiding the season on the live schedule, and not allowing wait lists. Proration settings for the season can also be set here. If any of these settings have been enabled, they will apply to all classes assigned to this season. Once everything is ready, or you have changed any settings at any time, please be sure to save your changes.
since you have already set up your season, it is now time to add the classes that should be assigned to that season. From the main DSP screen, the Actions dropdown will give you the option to add a new class. This option is also available on most screens within DSP and the Quick Links menu on the left. Here, you'll see the option to add a new class. The pop-up will allow you to enter the basic details for the class, starting with the class name. The start and end dates can be entered on this screen, and the teacher can also be assigned. Next, once you save the class, you will be redirected to the class settings page. Here, you can choose the location of the class, the room the class will take place in, and the season this class should be assigned to. From the drop-down menu, select the proper season that this class should be assigned to. You'll then receive a pop-up asking if you'd like to use the season dates for this class. That means that the dates you have set your season start and end dates for can also be used for this class. When you click OK, the start and end dates for this class will be automatically updated to reflect the season dates. Next, select if this class will be participating in recital. Then, mark the day of the week that the class meets. Enter the tuition amount here if you are using fixed fee tuition. If you are using hourly or class count rates, please leave this field set to zero. Allow online registration should be checked if you would like parents to be able to register online for this class in the parent portal. If you do not want students charged a registration fee when they enroll in this class, you can check the ignore registration fee box. Then you can add the minimum and maximum age for the students enrolling in this class, the time that the class meets, and the maximum amount of students allowed in the class. Once you have finished editing the settings for the class, be sure to save your changes. This class is now assigned to the season and can be viewed on the main classes page under the correct season tab. As always, if you have any questions about setting up classes, please contact us at DSP Support.